Hello and welcome back everyone. So this time we will try to make our bot a little smarter. So he will have uh, different targets to choose from and maybe uh, pick one randomly and hit the bot wherever he wants. So in order to do that he will have uh, three separate targets instead of just one and he will randomly pick between them, take its position and uh, shoot the ball. So we already have this one target and I will create another empty in object. Let's not forget to reset its transform. Name it um, bot targets and drag and drop his target right uh, beneath it. So duplicate control D to duplicate, make another one, another third one. That should be fine. And now we will go to our bot script and declare these targets. So um, we will do public transform a, an array of targets. Let's call it targets. And let's go back to Unity. It should appear right here. That's great. So we have an array of zero targets right now. And a fast way to drag and drop things uh, in Unity is to click the uh, lock here on top on the <laughs> uh, right top corner and then select all the targets and drag and drop them and then uncheck the lock and we have our array uh, already set and ready so let's go now back to unity and all we have to do is uh, make some function that will pick some random target so it will return a vector 3 Let's call it uh, pick target. Then this function will uh, have a random value, so int random value will be equal to random dot range uh, zero, of course, until the uh, length of our uh, targets array. What did we call it? Targets. So dot length. And uh, of course, the random dot range gives us a minimum of inclusive, so it will take the zero, but will not give us uh, give us the length, which of course we don't want the length. It's always length minus one, because uh, arrays in Unity are or in C sharp are zero based. So we pick some random number, and you return um, not pick three return targets of that random value. Um, dot position, of course. So we have the uh, vector and not the whole transform because we don't really need that. And now, in the hitting of the ball, we will change this aim target dot position by pick target. The function, the function that we have just made, uh, should be fine for now. And we can even try to test this. Let's hope that there are no errors. It seems like it. So I will hit the ball and he starts picking targets randomly. He might be moving a little too fast so we will fix that later. And uh, try to win a point here. <laughs> ah. Great, so our bot uh, chooses targets randomly and without any errors. I'm just checking if we have a any sort of weird error and it seems fine. So great. Um, now maybe we can uh, have him choose to pick some random uh, shots just like our player. So I will give him the shot manager and I will actually copy the player one because it will be the same. So copy component from the shot manager of the player, go back to the bot and do based component value so we have the same uh, shots as the player and uh, again back to the bot script we will also declare a shot manager call it shot manager and a current shot well we don't need our current shot actually so at the start let's have a reference to our shot manager so shot manager equals get component shot manager 
great, now we have a reference data, and how can we access it? Of course, um, from the pick target, we will also have a pick random shot. So um, we will return a shot. Uh, let's call it this one pick shot and uh, it will say random value and right now we have only two shots so 0 to 2 I know hard coding values isn't uh, recommended but uh, for now um, okay it will return actually we have yeah um, our shot manager has two variables, topspin or flat. And um, if we, we will test if it's equal to zero, if our random value equal to zero, let's return shot manager dot uh, spin, top spin. As if our random value will be equal to one this time, it will return the flat so return shot manager dot flat and we might even not need the if actually but yeah we might not need, need the if for now so this should work and right before we hit the ball we should pick a shot so let's call this function um, right before we hit the ball and replace that okay so here we say shot current shot equals the pick shot and we will use the current shot dot uh, hit force said yeah. and also current shot dot up force dot up vector that seems fine but our bot will make a lot of errors now because that um, flat shot is very hard to make unless uh, you are in a perfect position but we will try anyways. Okay, he chose a flat, uh, not flat. Yeah, see, he made a mistake. He made another mistake, so I will actually uh, help him a little bit. So if he's a flat, something like 3.5 and 18, I know this will <laughs> make it even easier for us, but uh, the bot isn't so smart. You can make him complicated, but that will take hours. If he wants to know whether he is in a good or bad position, and maybe even check his uh, positioning in the court and the speed that we hit the ball, see if that was a perfect shot. Because we helped him, and should be fine for now. So we don't have a lot of problems. Seems so. I will, we will even go ahead and decrease his speed because he's moving really fast, and he made some other mistake. So good for us and he made a winner great so we will decrease his speed a tiny little bit mm, speed instead of 50 will be something like i don't know 40 let's try 40. Um, of course try, trial and error is your friend in this type of situations so let's make a move yeah 40 seems fine and he is hitting very really hard with the ball okay yeah, that seems about good. So uh, that's all for this video, and thank you for watching.